I spy with my little eye something starting with D. Ah, gotcha. You thought I was going to say dendrobium. Well, no. I spy with my little eye in my crystal ball something starting with D, and that is debunking. But that video will be linked in the description when it airs. It's good to have you on the patio. I am going to welcome dendrobium season a little bit early, but I do spy something with my little eye. Off to the left of me, we shall be looking at some beautiful dendrobium blooms. However, look at my nobilies. Look at my nobilies, the no ID to the left, and the species nobili variety cooksonianum. Mm, we are going to be in for a show and I'm going to have so much fun debunking something. So subscribe to the channel right out of the gate. <laughs> I am super excited mainly for the species Dendrobium because she's just going to prove a point. And she has what I counted 15 spikes and on each spike there are two or three blooms. The best thing for a receiver of a gift is to be able to report to the giver Fernanda Nathimentos Orchids and Succulents. Look at what she has in store for us. Anyway, enough of the buds. Let's go and check out some blooms. And ooh, <laughs> like I said, dendrobium season is almost upon us. <laughs> There's a little bit more than just blooms going on on the patio. On camera, she has the appearance that she's on her last legs. This is Dendrobium Lutine Blanc, who has been ever so faithfully holding the fort in my blooming alley throughout these winter months. The single solitary orchid in my blooming alley. So these look really, really bright. They look like they've faded, but no, that is the reflection of the facade. Actually, they all look a little bit orangey like this, which is probably the more fresher color. But I've already cut off two spikes that are spent. But still, I want to give her credit for holding the fort in the blooming alley. She was a joy to have in bloom throughout these months. Another gift that I got from Kateba Ohide. I'm also super pleased to report back. Dendrobium Pocket Lover is really becoming a little pocket rocket. <laughs> Recently came into bloom. A wonderful little lemony fragrance coming from her every time I carry her in and out. Two new growths have grown throughout the winter. That is why I've been carrying her in and out <laughs> so that she gets the light, which unfortunately then cost us all the blooms minus one little nubbin down here. But the rest of this cane, all these nubbins went crispy, which is a real, real pity because that would have been a wonderful blooming of this orchid still. What I did manage to get to bloom, ta -da! orchid gorgeousness personified. This is turning out to be a report back to the gifter video. <laughs> Dendrobium kingianum. If you were not with my channel when these itty bitty keikis that are all the way down here arrived on the patio, well, what you see here as wiring, that is a daisy chain keeping five little keikis together in the pot. That's how I potted them up. Last year, she decided to just go for it and grow for it. And then, behold, she does this. Isn't she adorable? I love her so, so much. She is so fragrant. She's not even a full palm of my hand. And look at this. And the fragrance is knockout. So my blooming alley with the Lutein Blanc has the molasses. Now my pocket lover comes in with the sugar lemon and next to that is now my Dendrobium kingianum that has the fragrance of heavy, heavy honeysuckle. She is potent. Do not be fooled by her size. <laughs> I hope this is okay. This looks a little bit darker on screen than it actually is. This is my current status of the blooming alley. I will show you the piece de resistance right at the end. I would really appreciate a like because I'm going to show you what to expect on this channel now. So once again, yes, subscribe. Please do that. But I want to show you what I mean when I say dendrobium season proper is soon upon us because for whatever reason <laughs> i'm not questioning her i'm observing and learning my dendrobium exile is blooming again she is one of the hardest ones to photograph so bear with me the orchid has a certain growth habit that i find wacky wild and wonderful and pretty much all the older growths are either in bud or in bloom i can detect a fragrance from her but i have to get really close to the blooms and then they do have a semblance of molasses meanwhile she has to come in and out so i'm expecting blooms to drop even faster than they normally would but it is so nice to see them quelle surprise dendrobium unicum 
doesn't come in and out. It's got nubbins. She's got the nubbins, and she's got nubbins going all down the cane. And hopefully, we're going to see them blooms very soon. Quelle uh, surprise as well. Dendrobium bensoniae is starting its first new growth. Wow. <laughs> Last year I had eight. And I noticed this growth the last week of February. Um, okay, normally we see nubbins on the canes before we even see any growths, but whoa, I'm not questioning. Like I said, I'm just observing and learning. Very, very happy to report that Dendrobium tortile. We're gonna get a few more blooms out of her this season than we did last season. So that's awesome. I'm very encouraged to see those spikes coming so soon as well. Meanwhile, for the orchids, we've had a mild winter. I cannot say the same that it was mild for me, but these orchids that do live outside all year round, they are living la vida and loving it and responding accordingly. Because I've already seen four new growths on their tortile now, as opposed to a little bit more advanced stages of the spikes and then the new growth start. I'm not satisfied with four. I want five. I normally get five every year. I want the minimum of five if I cannot get six. And what can I say? I can only put so many canes into a single image, but I'm going to show you the nubbins, the promising nubbins of the most beautiful, beautiful dendrobium that I consider I have on my patio. When in bloom, when in bloom, because the Victoria Regina ranks supreme, but this one is unbeatable when in bloom. This dendrobium of Philum is a busting moves with nubbins that I'm always so excited about. I saw them the first time 10 days ago so forgive me the mother plant has the current appearance and there's a few images of the canes with nubbins on them because <laughs> do you see what i see <laughs> This is gonna be a stunner because it's happening on every single cane that grew last year and I have two more canes that match the length of the longest cane last year on the other side of my orchid. So she won't even look as lopsided. And le pièce de résistance, ha, ha, ha. not because the mother plant is a beauty but because the beauty of these blooms is astounding. I also have a gorgeous sugary honeysuckle fragrance from her. Thank Fully aphid free. Dendrobium berry odor. Why am I talking in a French accent? Je m'excuse. <laughs> I could also say scusi. Perdoname. I am too overwhelmed, too excited when this season comes around and I see nubbins just about everywhere. Anyway, my berry odor. Yes, what we see here is very, very beautiful, but it is mainly bare canes that are blooming and keikis that are blooming. So mama is exhausted and mama is going to have a major makeover. But in the meantime, oh, isn't this just beautiful? I mean, isn't it? Isn't it? Hello. Look at all those columns looking at us. You know, it reminds me of that locker in Men in Black when Will Smith opened the locker and there's this whole little colony of little people in there. I don't know what they were chanting, but that's what this reminds me of. All those little white columns looking at us. I love this dendrobium so much. I am surprised that she has exhausted herself, but we have a project to do for 2024 in order to reset her and get her off to a great start. And hopefully in three years, we'll have ourselves a proper show like this again, but from the plant itself. I sincerely hope you enjoyed the quick tour. Brace yourself for dendrobium season coming here onto the patio. I'm like a child in a candy store, except at the moment I am being told, you can't have that, you can't have that, you can't have that. So I'm gonna be a good girl, I'm gonna be a good orchid mama so that we can all enjoy what is ahead of us. Thank you so very much for watching. I wish you a fabulous day. On the condition though, please that you stay safe. Take care, bye.